going to Paran changed my life. You know, that was a whole new world to me as a young person leaving suburban Essendon, going off to the land of art school. And at that time, the art school structure was they wanted to have some academic subjects. So I had to do English, sociology and psychology and art history. Different year, first year, second years, third years were given topics. And then two weeks later, we were all put in the same room together with the lecturers for assessment. And that was extraordinary. I was open to everything that was happening. The critical thinking probably came later, but maybe that was happening when we're all together and looking at each other's work. Generally speaking, everybody got on like a team, I think. Lecturers and students, there wasn't that sort of hierarchy. It was all in for all. You weren't sort of locked in or steered in, or you should do this, you should do that. I think most students had the opportunity to take their own course. But then, with all education, having worked in many institutes, it all depends on who your teacher is or who your lecturer is. That's why I always regard Paul as a very good mentor, because he opened not just the photography, it was the whole world. With our education, and what we were getting fed at that time was uh, in the photography field was the European photographers and the American photographers, that had undergone social change in those countries and then it was actually happening in our country, in Melbourne, at Paran. I got involved in political things after that, like a few years later, but I definitely had an influence from the Paran education that, you know, there's a whole world out there and that's by being a photographer, I was out there in that world and had it, having the confidence given to me by the, the training that I had. I moved into Rankins Lane, which was off Little Burke Street. Now, this is a very big part of my creative life. And Mirka Mora lived opposite Big Studio. And I'd known her since Paran days because our year with Paul Cox, we made a film called Mirka. Um, the students worked on it and I got to know Mirka then when I was at that age. She's been part of my life ever since. Um, when she left, Richard and I decided to set up a gallery, which we did, and we had no money, and we thought, well, what do we call it? We call it Iceberg, you know, tip of the iceberg. And it was a real community, like all arts community. It was happening at Raw, it was happening at um, Rankin's Lane. Now, I had a show there, and normally curators don't normally have their own exhibitions, but I did, and I made enough money to go to Europe. Do you stop? because of all this stuff that's happening so quickly? Or do you keep going and just choose to make art for yourself? That's what I'm doing. I'm making art. It doesn't have to be photography, but it all goes back from that period of time where you chose to be an artist.